Nintendo has applied for the Nintendo 64 trademark in Japan. And not just, you know, trademarking the name, but also the controller, uh, the programming, the game machine itself, the joystick that it uses, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this is notable because this is exactly what they did before the NES Classic and SNES Classic were announced. They filed a very, very similar trademark in Japan for those classic platforms. Uh, and then, yeah, they obviously came to be later. And this would suggest, since Nintendo is applying for this, this, this isn't like a, a trademark or a copyright just for software. This is actually the hardware itself. This suggests that an N64 Classic may very well be coming this year, maybe even announced at E3, but if not announced at E3, announced later this year for release this holiday. And we really only have to look at the past two holiday periods to see how this is a, a, you know, a, a huge possibility. Two years ago in 2016, we had the NES Classic come out in the fall, uh, slash, no, slash early winter, uh, and then last year we had the SNES Classic. And what's the next platform after that? The N64. And there's a lot of great games they could throw on here, from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask to Super Mario 64. Uh, obviously, a lot of us hope they can work out something with Rare and Microsoft and maybe get Banjo-Kazooie over here, uh, try to figure out all the copyright holders for maybe GoldenEye. I think it would be a shame that I have GoldenEye in perfect dark on this platform uh and it really uh, i do hope one thing changes uh about all of this is that the joystick on the n64 uh as nostalgic as it might be to see the n64 controllers back in production dude i would break that joystick every time i got a new controller the day i got it that that joystick design whatever plastic they were using grinded so bad it, you guys remember the white powder that the n64 controllers are infamous for the white powder on the joystick and then having the joystick flop around so hopefully that is a design flaw that they have fixed at least for the re-release you can still make it feel like that old controller without having it break in my opinion but um, I'm pretty excited by the fact that this heavily hints at an N64 Classic coming, because even though I don't own an NES Classic or a SNES Classic, we also know that we aren't going to be getting Virtual Console or anything like Virtual Console beyond 20 NES games later this year through the online service really anytime soon. So because of that, uh, that makes me actually more excited for these classic systems. And as much as the SNES is my all-time favorite platform the n64 has some of the best exclusives and you know we're, we're talking about games that i aforementioned like ocarina of time majora's mask um you know super mario 64 perfect dark uh at the time conquer's bad fur day and banjo kazooie obviously we know those got ported once microsoft bought bought out rare um, but it, there's so many great games. It, it's hard for me to even cover them all. I got the original Super Smash Brothers. You got Mario Kart 64. Um, you know, several Mario Party games. And it, the list goes on and on and on. And what I actually want to do since this... I, I felt like an N64 Classic was already inevitable. But now that we see Nintendo flying for all of the necessary trademarks to release an N64 Classic... Now it becomes real. This becomes a thing that's likely happening this year. So what I want to know now is what your guys' dream lineup is for the N64. Now remember, um, they, they, they went from 30 games on NES down to 21 for the, for the SNES. I'm guessing we're looking at about 20 N64 games. I would love to see 30 or so, but I feel like they're going to they're gonna dip below. Heck, it might only be 15 for all we know. They're going to dip below the SNES Classic because it keeps the cost of the system down, right? All those third-party games and the licensing fees and all that stuff they would have to pay. Uh, I'm guessing that, you know, we're looking anywhere between 15 and 20 games on the N64 Classic. So what games do you want those to be? Thankfully, the N64 technically has a smaller library than the SNES, so it might be a little easier, or it might be even more difficult because of how I'm... I mean, Rogue Squadron? Come on! There's so many good games that I really hope to see on this thing. I don't know how the licensing is going to work out. Obviously, we know uh, Nintendo's best of the best should probably appear. You know, the the Ocarina of Times and, and the Mario 64s of the world. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see on here. Heck, Star Fox 64, I feel like that's probably a given, and that might be a nice release after they just had Star Fox 2 as a SNES Classic exclusive, and there might be a new Star Fox racing game on the horizon, so kind of continue that Star Fox hype. 
Um, and, and heck, maybe there's a bonus game. Is there an unreleased game for N64 that maybe they could throw on the platform, like the Star Fox 2s, uh, to make you even want to buy the platform even more? What, what unreleased game would you like to see? Maybe there's cut content from a game you would like to see them add in to make it more enticing. Uh, I, I really want to see your list. You know, How about this? How about... Instead of trying to throw out some arbitrary number in terms of, hey, give you know, give me your full list you would like for this. Let's let's restrict it to ten. Let's assume there'll be at least ten N sixty four games on an N sixty four classic. What ten games do you guys feel are must haves for an N sixty four classic? I want to see your list. You can either order the list or give it in no particular order. It doesn't matter. Ten games the Nintendo sixty four classic must have i'm going to give you my list right now to kind of kick things off i obviously feel like it must have ocarina of time it must have super mario 64 it must have majora's mask that's that that's my top three right there that the platform must have it there needs to be super smash bros as that's the very first one we need mario kart 64 uh and Let's throw in Star Fox as well. Star Fox 64, I feel like that's another must-have game. And that's six uh, Nintendo-controlled titles right there. And there are so many more on this platform. Uh, Let's go into some maybe some third-party stuff. I feel like Nintendo and Microsoft need to talk because Conker's Bad Fur Day and Banjo-Kazooie, the original, both need to be on an N64 Classic. I don't care what has to happen. It just needs to work work out. And if they can do that, then we should get Perfect Dark. I do want my 10th game to be GoldenEye, technically. Although I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of different companies that have their hand in the pot on GoldenEye. So all of them would have to agree for a re-release. And maybe because it's the original game, they could agree. Uh, but I'm not so sure that's going to happen. So I'm going to keep GoldenEye off for now, although I think GoldenEye pairs perfectly with Perfect Dark. Both of those games help pioneer FPS titles on home console, uh, at least what they were going to be moving forward before Halo came out. The fifth, th- the tenth game then is kind of up in the air. There's a slew of uh, N64 games that I could include, but I think I have to go with one of the most underrated N64 games. Heck, Maybe one of the most overlooked N64 games, Snowboard Kids. Love it to death. Would love to see that on there. And there's several others you could talk about. The Harvest Moons of the World. Um, Diddy Kong Racing. Wave Race. Uh, you know, Jet Force Gemini. Like, there's there's so many good games we could talk about that are underrated. Uh, or, you know, even the most highest rated games. that you know there, There's several I've left off. But uh, that's my 10 that I for sure want to see on the platform. You give me your 10 that must make it on an N64 Classic. And, in in, you know, in the comments below, maybe discuss my list, what you would remove, what you would add in. Let's just create a whole discussion around this thing because, folks, I believe that the N64 Classic is coming and that this trademark filing, just like with the NES and SNES, means it's hitting this year. So let's do it. Let's get our lists out there, and then we'll see what happens once the platform is officially announced. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the bell icon as well so you get notifications, or hopefully get notifications for all of the content we do, whether it's live streams or single release videos like these. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that we are live streaming tomorrow night uh, around 9 p.m., we're going to be playing a multiplayer game. I'm not sure which one yet. We also have our prime cast later this week on Friday, which is at 8 p.m., and these are going off Central Standard Times. All right, folks, I will catch you guys in the next one.